Hey, good morning, everyone. I know it's been some time since we posted a video. It's been tough due to the COVID-19, but more car content is coming soon. Um, but I started doing some work here at the house with the cars. Uh, stuff coming up as far as the TC, Eric Zara, and also uh, the Civic is also coming up. So we're ordering some parts in the, in the next week. So we're going to do some work. But we've been doing a lot of work around the house, so... That's what this video is going to be about. It's probably like a little montage of everything that's been going on. So you guys um, just stay tuned. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys my uh, newest project that just was completed is the kitchen. So hold on a second. So, as you guys see here, this backsplash, this used to be the countertop. I painted the countertop with Rust-Oleum paint. That's a countertop paint. It came out really nice. has a nice texture to it. it. looks like it's natural. But that used to be the color, but now it's a light gray. So that I just completed yesterday. It looks really great. I uh, also did the cabinets. I re-stained them and uh, also sanded them down before I re-stained them. I'll pop some pictures in so you guys can see how they used to look. Uh, they were really in bad shape, but now they have a nice shine to them. Easier to clean them. Way nicer. I also refinished all the hardware. I used um, steel wool and sanded them down. They were really grimy and gross. And then I used black uh, shiny spray paint and re-spray painted them. They look brand new. The bottoms look really good too. Well, yeah, the next step for this kitchen is going to be a new backsplash and there's this peel and stick stuff that looks actually pretty nice it looks like it's going to match the color is pretty good that's in here let's just grab the backsplash piece that we have we just wanted to see how a little trial piece to see how it looks but here's the backsplash right here you guys see it's got like the grays and browns but it's all going to get filled in where all the yellow that's still around the kitchen, it's all gonna get changed to this. And I think it's gonna look pretty good. Let's see, I'll show you guys how uh, it looks up against the cabinets. So it's gonna give it a nice refresh, modern look. Uh, this is from Lowe's. It has like a little metal look to it, but it's not, it's, it's like a laminate type of thing, but it looks good. So I'm gonna give it a try. Probably order this within the next week and hopefully do a video with this to show you guys how to install it because it's kind of interesting i've never had i've never done it before just like uh i've never done any of this stuff in here before but um i have stained wood before in the past but not a whole kitchen not uh i mean obviously painting stuff as well but yeah it looks i think it came out pretty good for my first try ever doing it uh let me know what you guys think with the comments below um you guys are interested I'll show you, um, I'm going to like put little snippets and stuff of all the different, um, 
like material that I use to get this finished. And who knows, if you guys like it enough, if you guys are in the area, maybe I could do it for you, if you guys like it that much. So, that's about it. I'll show you guys uh, how the shelves came out. Nice gloss to them, nice shine to them now. Before they were kind of just dusty and they just didn't have any flavor to them. Like they are just dry, to be honest. So, see I got all up here, a nice shine to it now. All right, guys, so the kitchen is back together. It looks fantastic. I am very proud of myself for getting this done. It looks so much better, so much refreshed. The cabinets look great. I got the fan going here because still a little bit of tackiness going on on that one cabinet, but there's not much airflow over there. But uh, hopefully it dries up pretty good. The rest of the cabinets on this side are pretty dry. They are, they're not tacky or anything. So now you guys can see the countertops and their final form. Very excited about them. They have a nice texture to them, as you can see from the camera, that that's included in the paint. Like it makes it look like it's actually a countertop. I didn't know it was gonna look like that. I thought that it was just gonna be flat, like a flat color. But I'm glad it gave this little texture. It makes it, you know, feel like a countertop, which is really, really nice. I'd show you guys, haven't really shown off the handles yet. Up on, nice and shiny, coated now. Nice sheen to them. They're not like a grubby, brown, rusted, dirty, black. I don't know. <laughs> That's a, they're <laughs> interesting, but these are now have high performance paint on them so these the the paint should last a long time you know i did that because you're always opening these constantly so your hands are gonna be rubbing you never know you might have food on your hands water on your hands it could you know mess it up if you did like a lesser degree of paint but um now that shouldn't last a very very long time um but let's see how this cabinet is doing now Seems a little bit, seems a little, yeah, right here is a little tacky still, which is really, I mean, this has been several days now, and it's still a little tacky. Like I was saying, there's not much airflow in this corner, so it's kind of tough. So if you have, like, corner cabinets and stuff like that, just be wary of that. Eventually, it'll dry over time, but... It seems like it's okay. It's not too bad. It's just compared to the rest of them, the rest are, are dry, dry. Like if I touch here, there's nothing. I mean, my fingers are not sticking to it at all. So yeah, so just giving you guys an update of the house. Everything is looking great. You can see the bottom cabinets. These look really rough from the before pictures. Now they're looking a lot better from the staining. You can see the shininess on the handles, very nice. It's a nice shine all the way across the cabinets now. Looks way better. I am happy with what has been accomplished. One or two little uh, eight ounce uh, cans of stain and the one quart size of soleum countertop covering paint and uh, one can of um, high performance spray paint. And that's it, it's done. So, the next step for this kitchen is this. This is a peel and stick backsplash that gives it a nice, you know, like the colors go well with what the theme is in this kitchen. See like the lighter grays here, goes with kind of like the countertop. If you look down here, this is our dishwasher. It's called Slate. Um, it's made by General Electric. They're very nice uh, appliances, all three of them. They're all slate gray. So in this, there's a slate gray color uh, gray in there. And then if you look at it, there's like brown earthy tones as well on this to match up with the cabinets. And then on the floor is a combination of all of it. So I think it's gonna all tie together very nice. This is uh, laminate floor um, 
that has that makes it like it's slate tile so i think all the colors are going to come really good together this is the last look of the yellow that used to be here and now it's going to be backsplash peel and stick that's going to be a fun project i hope that it's not too difficult from what i'm hearing from people that it's not so we're getting that done well that's about closes up this video just want to do a you know, uh, like after effect of everything that's been accomplished. And I feel like it's going very well. It looks good. Looks way better than it did. I'm proud. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This is just an update video of what's going on around the house. And uh, TODG for life. Stay tuned, everyone. It's not a game, it's a real